Wes Wes Show. Yeah, what is this about? So, <laughs> so apparently, this okay. It's, it's kind of funny because eh? okay, TV and Z has a breakfast show in the morning, right? Do you guys watch the breakfast show in the morning? Mm. Yeah, but my dad does. The TV and Z, right? Is this guy is supposed to replace John Campbell, eh? Yeah, because John Campbell left. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, his own thing. So, I know about John Campbell leaving. Yeah, so they got a replacement. John <laughs> Campbell replacement. This Indian dude named um, Kamal Santoria. Now, Kamal Santoria was born in New Zealand. And he went to school here. And I think he got a job in Channel 3, TV3, as a reporter. Real young. So he was 19 years old when he got a job. Anyway, he worked there for a couple of years. And then he went overseas to the Zoe. So he worked in UK. Then he ended up working for Al Jazeera in the Middle East, which is the middle, big Middle East um, uh, news n- news media uh, company. So he worked there for for a number of years. Huh? And but then he got like he got f- sort of like fired because he had some sexual harassment uh, complaints. <laughs> oh shit! With, with a girl that started work there. And she was saying that how, oh, uh, yeah, I got, you know, he'll come to to kiss me hello, but he'll aim for my lips <laughs> rather than my cheek. What the <laughs> And fuck? I felt it was like he was sort of like a creep. And he sent me like rude emails, like uh, blah, 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 like inappropriate emails. So she actually complained. And then, yeah. And then apparently there were two complaints anyway. So he got sort of let go, right? And then, I don't know what happened to him, but he got let go, right? But um, he ends up, um, because John Campbell left, he ends up being he ends up being announced as the new presenter to take over John Campbell for the breakfast show, right? Yeah. So he did it for a week, right? One week. And then he disappeared the next week. But no one said anything. Like, no one... It wasn't was, mentioned, though. It wasn't mentioned. It was on, business on, as on usual. The, the TV, he, was yeah. never, he was never there anymore. <laughs> and then people were like, People like start the asking. public asking, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, "What happens is that a guy? What does that Indian guy used to be on last week?" They <laughs> took over Campbell. <laughs> yeah, John like. took over Campbell, but no one said anything. No one said anything on the show. No one mentioned anything. Anyway, TVNZ comes out with a statement. Goes, "Oh yeah, he's on leave right now because of family matters." <laughs> and then that was it. But then News Hub came out with a uh, story saying that this guy um was a bit. It was a bit dodgy at TVNZ because there was a complaint, a sexual harassment complaint <laughs> at TVNZ. And then they dug up stuff, that stuff that I told you about in Al Jazeera. Yeah, yeah, How they, yeah. you know, found out that he got fired from overseas because he was the sex- sexual harassment, same shit, you know? But that's where it's fucked up, eh, because he's obviously got that dirt, you know, and that shit that hasn't washed off. But he's managed to walk into TVNZ and just get a job. Eh? Yeah. But, yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing because <laughs> the the boss of the Team NZ breakfast show, like the main producer guy or whatever, <coughs> Paul something or rather, um, Urasich or something or rather, I think Paul Urasich is the name. I think you can check it. But he he worked with this guy overseas at the Al Jazeera, <laughs> so he knew him. Yeah, that so was he that, so that's his way in. That's how he got the job at Team NZ. Shit. So. It makes me want to um, t- tweet um, and dare and ask her whether he was being a guy like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I like, just having any of this. Uh, <laughs> hell, I just asked her, hey. Oh, what's up? Shout out to Endera, hey. We go back from the hood, man. She's from Ranui. She's from, she's from Ranui. But he just got to ask, hey, like, straight up, man. Just tell me. <laughs> and then okay, yeah, that guy's down money, hey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, you know, it's, it's it, it was kind of, like, funny because... He's a guy that shows up for work, you know, a week. He gets announced to be the new guy. He shows up for work and then he doesn't even come in anymore the next week. You know, everyone's wondering where he is. TVNC had put out a story. Oh, no, he's got flaming manners. He's on leave. He's not really on leave. He got fired. Just say it, eh? Another sexual harassment claim. Just say it. Like, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. Don't show the today. Because like, to me, that, that, that must is like, his actions are okay. Are like, okay, why he can get away with it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? <laughs> but fuck it, okay. oh no, he's got family matters. <laughs> yeah, because I never my dad <laughs> going. Up. I never my dad going. Hey, uh, <laughs> the new guy that replaced Campbell, he's not on the TV anymore. Huh? And I didn't take much notice of it. I was like, oh, probably taking a day off or something. 
So, I don't think it's the fault of this guy, right? Well, this guy's a bit of a creep for doing what he does, eh? Yeah. I, I think because he's... he's a if you think, if you read about how he, like, came up, like, he's, he, he started working when he was 19, man. So, he doesn't know what's... He does probably doesn't know, like... What's on a... What's... Withdraw the line. Withdraw the line. <laughs> like, like, proper life skills, eh? Going, going. To, it sounds like a guy who used to go over. He invited for football, and he shows up with a football in his hands <laughs> to watch that show. <laughs> he expects everybody to pay pass. Yeah, that's right. So, so, so what I'm saying is, he is what he is, right? He is what he is. A creep. I think, yeah, but he is what he is. Yeah. Like he can't. Okay, he is what he is. How did he? How did he get the job at Team Z? And you look into it. This poor Eurosets guy gave him a job because he used to work for him. Yeah, yeah. Now, why did they give him a job? Knowing. Probably knowing what he's like. Did yeah, he yeah. give him another chance? Was that it? Or, him, or was it the case that diversity, you need to have a... Indian. Oh, we got no Indians on screen. We'll just, we'll just grab, grab this guy. It's, it's probably two or three things as well. <laughs> Either that, or I was like, remember, it was me and you. <laughs> 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 you like, hey, you're the one who planted the seed about, oh, bring... Um, Brings quite pretty, eh? You thought she's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> you should email her. <laughs> He's the one who planted the seed in his head, eh? Made him fucked up like that. You fuck, I'm out of a job. You're lucky I don't check you, chuck you under the bus. Okay, I think it was the first one. So, yeah, fuck, don't do it again, you can't. Okay? <laughs> I'll give you this job as your last chance. Regardless, regardless, right? Regardless. This is why I think, this is my take on it. This whole diversity <laughs> thing, right? In the workplace. You know, you, <laughs> you, you can't pick and choose the right qualified people. Because you got to go for the diversity, right? Yeah. John Campbell's gone. There's a chance for them to bring another cult, uh, cultural, um, mm. if this is the into the into the Do fucking that news, yeah. yeah, bro. You know, and there's none out there. There's only Balangis out there, right? Yeah. And sad okay. to say, it, man, because that exact panel, bro, is <laughs> how, exactly how he's just painted it, eh? Yeah. You got you got Indira there. She's Tongan, hey, right? she's married to another Pacific Island, um guy, and then you got Jamie, who's Maori. She uses a lot of her today on the show. Mm. Then you got the um. The, the gay dude, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's and right. And like, bro, you pretty much... All you need on there is like a transgender wait, thing. Wait, wait, wait. We don't know. He hasn't come out. He's gay. We're just nah, saying he's that. open it. Nah, he's open about it. Has he? Yeah. Okay. He's open about it. Oh, mm. true. Yeah. All right. But see, that's that's what I mean, man. Like, yeah. see, you got to... Okay, you got to replace John Campbell, right? They're happy that he's a white guy gone. Because that's an opportunity for them to get someone else that's a different ethnicity, right? Yeah. Mm. But who they got in line? Okay, we got... um. Okay, we got he's a Balangis here. Uh, we need some Pacific Islanders. Uh, uh, there's not really anyone. Uh, um, oh, there's an Indian guy there. Let's get him. Let's get that guy. We need the Indian guy. There's no Indian uh, representation on TV. Let's yeah. get that guy. Um, uh, he was a bit of a rapist. Uh, <laughs> hey, nah, nah, don't worry. No one knows. No one knows. We'll give him a second chance. We'll give him a second chance. Bro, that's well, how it works. We'll just man. say he's got family matters. Don't worry. <laughs> Damn. Fine. But they probably didn't see that, though. Like, the grander picture would have been like, bro, there's going to be a backlash from having a guy now replacing John. Because, bro, John is the man, eh? Like, yeah, John, yeah, yeah. John yeah, to me is kids can. Big shoes to everything fall, big. All the Tulepa stuff, the Rugby World Cup, that was all John. <laughs> and then you get this guy from Algeria. <laughs> 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 Not even a week, eh? Not even a week, bro. Shucks. Fuck. And he disappears off the face of the TV. <laughs> But then it's funny how um they want to um ask the question. Because, hey, it would be weird, eh? Yeah. Like, how can you hide that? Can you hide that? No, nah, you can't. And come out and say, oh, no, nah, no, nah, sorry, um, he's on leave for family matters. Because so many people watch Good Morning, bro. Yeah. They're not, they're not watching Channel 3, they're watching Channel 1. Yeah. And, like, everyone's always tuned in. Because my kids watch it. They use it to check the time. So, you know, whenever they're going on. So, yeah, clearly it's like a, there's a face there, right? <laughs> <hey. laughs> it's just like having Jason Gunn and Thingy on the, on the Jason Gunn show. Yeah, 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 and yeah. the Jason Gunn's there by himself. Where's Thingy? <laughs> <laughs> Poor there he dude, is. Hey. Poor dude. We want Thingy back. We want the Indian guy back. Because he just disappeared. But yeah, that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> but how will his legal team take care of that matter, though? <coughs> but apparently, I read that he um got himself off of social media, so he's not never on social media now. Mm. But uh, that's that's pretty embarrassing. That's pretty embarrassing for TVNZ, and I think they even questioned um uh, Chris Farfoy because he's the minister of 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 the media. Eh? Yeah. Oh. I thought they would have done a background check on all of those kind of people. Wait, that no, nah, no, nah, that's the thing. With, that's. That 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 questions the process. What we got here, at TVNZ. Yeah. What kind of process they got to get people in? Yeah. 
and you know i think you know, my <laughs> thoughts is this diversity thing just yeah you, you, you you're gonna get some fucking creeps to come in <laughs> if you're not careful but even still like if you do an interview process and you got a panel and then they ask you oh so where did you last week bro and go Al Jazeera and go, oh so why did you leave bro they're, they're saying <laughs> they didn't reference check and do character <laughs> reference on who they employed damn yeah. hard up because if you were big corporations that that's reflected on the panel mm. hey because just like if you're vouching for people you're vouching for people hey, and if they're shit they're shit they're shit because the panel said that they were good you know <laughs> there should be a whole lot of people at TVNZ getting the sack Fuck, or being no. written, getting written warnings or something shit it's fucking crazy you should just do what all the Twitter people do just start typing it out read it and then delete <laughs> <laughs> they send it away. they send it because now everything, now Twitter's being censored hard up so I don't know where, where does TVNZ go what, t- what lessons have TVNZ learned from here you know they've learned that never Never be a fear buckle and like just hire anyone <laughs> because of the color of their skin. I hate his head this for our head. agenda. You know, just hey, we don't care if they're white, black, or white, or whatever, brown, whatever. We just want a good person to be on TV and talk. You know, yeah, yeah. Like we don't need. Hey, if you did that because he's Indian and they want a diversity, yeah. Well, make sure because he has a Kiwi accent. You know, yeah. He, he's, the face is Indian. Indian, but yeah. It's the Kiwi yeah, but accent that comes he's ticking all the boxes. He's yeah. ticking all the diversity boxes. You yeah. know. It's just a shame that he's a he's a fucking rapist <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise they wouldn't have keep it a secret like that. You but know? to that guy who gave him the job, bro, it was like even though he had rapist <laughs> at the top of his um, arm, yeah, <laughs> he was yeah. like, "Ma, you're all good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You got another oh, list of diversity on there. Ticking, yep, yep, you're all good, bro." <laughs> so wow. that guy who gave him the job, fuck, he's got no principles. What an ugly cut, bro. <laughs> Shocking, bro. Shit. I would have leave that guy in the room with my dog. Shucks. <laughs> no principles, mate. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so that's what happened to him. Sean knew his hub. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell my dad that. N- <laughs> no. Yeah, Guess sh- what happened to that guy? Yeah, shout out to News Hub for bring, br- bringing that story. So now you guys are the, they're the like, rival, eh? they're like the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> they're the competition. So it's good they, um, they're calling TV and sit out. <laughs> 